I, I, I happened to have a dinner with the chief executive of Celtic about a year ago. Um, and there was some, 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 some something going on, some Celtic ball, so, so called, um, in New York, and I was invited. And uh, I asked him about, about that, and he basically said, well, I can't, there's no club now already, I have probably zero chance of selling him, or if you do sell him, it's going to be one of the big trans transfers of Celtic. And then we kind of stopped there because we, we couldn't then, you know, they clearly didn't want to do anything, but we liked him, we, 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 we kind of looked at him for a long time. And then suddenly, all all these kind of changed a little bit due to kind of various reasons. Some of them, you know, you know, the political and everything else, which I don't really want to go into it. But suddenly we kind of stepped, kept pushing and this, this about that story is going back for probably two months now uh, that we would try to kind of go into it and, you know, try to make sure that the, the number one player wants to come, which for us is always, as I said many times, more very important the player wants to be here, wants to play in Major League Soccer, wants to play for Charlotte not to Miami and Galaxy for Charlotte. But the name of the game was, uh, was upgrade and quality. It's like easy to get the wingers, but the wingers that, has, that have this kind, of, this kind of quality, not easy. But he's always in position of a, of, a, of, a, of a goal scoring position. It's very interesting. He's one of those players that some, some find themselves always there in a goal. You know, it's, a, it's almost a talent that you kind of, is not recognized because some, some players are half a meter left or right but he's there and the ball comes to him. So that's kind of a unique, natural born talent, if you like, that he's those, in those positions. So I think this is something else that he'll bring to the game. We thought this, this might be an opportunity. We were kind of trying to kind of see if there's anything there and then slowly kind of uh, working towards it. Um, it's him be, being not always in a lineup. We, we knew why. Uh, so they, so we, we just thought it, it might be an opportunity for us to kind of do something we were not sure that, that, that Celtic would eventually do the business uh, and it took some time and persuasions and, and as I said, kind of teamwork by, by, by Lille and his representatives who were also very, very firm in, in kind of um, idea of uh, coming to Charlotte. They, they were like saying, there's only one club in, in, in the world right now that we want to go and that's Charlotte MLS. Why was that? Just what was this conversation on Charlotte specifically versus Miami or LA like you mentioned? It's because um, I think I think combination because he everybody likes when he's wanted and and he knew about our interest for about a year eighteen months um, and also I think he sees potential in Charlotte he he saw the crowds he saw opening game he saw the previous crowds opening games he saw the thirty five thousand he wants to play play in front of the big crowd this is just like a. The, the game is not always that easy. It's not like simple, like I'll go get this guy. You know, it's like there's a hundreds of clubs around the world, and uh, and uh, we are not um, we're not Real Madrid, not yet. <laughs> <laughs>